After weeks of deep thinking and inner conflict, Kolkata decided to take a friend's advice and go see the abstract oracle. She comes from a long line of oracles and is said to be wise beyond her years with great wisdom, spiritual understanding and guidance. Some say she could even see into the future. I need to find out what's happening to me before I can go on living. Something. Something is driving me outside of my true nature. This isn't who I was taught to be. I thought friendships and love were everything. You must be Calcutta. Shrisha told us you were coming by. The abstract oracle is expecting you. Come on in and have a seat. She'll be with you shortly. You can sit here. My mother gave me this ring. You're trying to find something that you've lost. Love. Peace. Family. I'm sensing that someone stabbed you in the back. that from that ring? Yes. This has lots of energy on it. You said it belonged to your mother? Yeah, my mom gave it to me when I was five. Mm. It has a lot of history. And I feel like lately I've lost something. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm trying to get it back. There seems to be some decisions that you need to make, some choices. There's dark and light energy around you. Your decision is which side are you going to take? Are you battling with yourself? Are you looking outside yourself for some type of Spiritual guidance, this is what this has to do with. Once you make the decision, you'll be fine. But you have to choose. There's going to be a choice. What do I have to choose? You. So what do you mean in myself? Meaning that things have happened around you that have caused this type of veil that you can't see yourself truly. So there's this uh, situation around you that you're going to have to make a decision. Will you go with this side or will you go with this side? But you need to have clarity. You need to be free. You need to find your center in order to remove that cloud that's blocking your vision so that you can see clearly and make the right choices for yourself. Choices? What, what kind of choices? Good and evil? Right and wrong? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Our entire lives are about choices and what decisions we try to make for ourselves. You have the power within yourself to create whatever life that you really want. What life do you want? Do you want good? Do you want peace? 
this is what this is saying for you. You've had a loss of peace and joy of your family. There's been backstabbing and talking criticism about you. What are you going to do about that? What choices are you going to make and how you handle that? There is no right or wrong. It's just about yourself. You want the love, but you definitely want to stay away from the goddess Kali. Goddess Kali? Yes. And I'll tell you why. Kali is, as you can see, is the head taker. She shows no discrimination. She is death. This is why you want to stay away from that energy, because it's dark. And once you go there, it's very, very difficult to find your way back. But we won't focus on the negative. We want to stay focused on the positive things. And there is love for you. There's also financial freedom, which is always a good thing. We like that. <laughs> And you have to look at the things that you do have and not the things that you don't. There is someone coming back from your past. They're showing you that this could be a love relationship. It also could be a friendship. So just know that there are things that are going to be opening up for you within the next 90 days or so. And that's when you'll see the things that you've planted, the seeds that you've planted will come back to fruition. So you will be good. You have one of the luckiest cards in the tarot deck in your spread, so you should be fine. Just know that. Thank you so much, Oracle. You're so welcome. <laughs> your wisdom knows no bounds. Thank you. Remember what the abstract Oracle said, stay away from the goddess Kali. After spending time with the abstract oracle, Kokata felt a better sense of peace and understanding of self. Nothing could change her feeling of nirvana.